Hi guys, UK Simmer here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be bringing you a little bit more information um, that I have found uh, uh, regarding seasons. Um, so if you watched my last video um, then you would know that I was talking about the snow and I did mention that one of the pictures looked like the snow was glistening and I am so pleased to be able to tell you that it does glisten. Now look at this. It just looks fabulous. Oh my gosh, it does look really, really nice. So I was saying that I hope the light catches the snow like it does in real life and the untouched snow glistens and it blooming does. I love it, absolutely love it. It's so, so gorgeous. Um, I, I just, I want seasons now. I need it, I need it in my life now. Um, please, yay, hurry up, I need it. <laughs> um, so, um, we also found out a little bit more information. They put out um, a blog um, regarding um, fall um, into winter fun. So, um, stay cool with seasons. Hey Simmers, uh, the Sims 4 season expansion pack is coming soon. Um, we want to be a, uh, to give you an idea of what to expect in each season. We talked about spring and summer, but now it's time to spark the fireplace, brew some tea, and watch the leaves change on the neighborhood trees. Let's get fall. Uh, let's get to fall, winter, pumpkin spice, and everything nice, shall we? Set the date to kick things off. Uh, one of the most significant features of the expansion pack is the calendar. Now, I did find some pictures of the calendars um, and they look freaking awesome, absolutely freaking awesome. Um, so I'll just show you uh, this one, which is the work uh, and school schedule. So obviously on the calendar, it will tell us uh, our work and schedules and things like that. Uh, we've also got the weather report. Um, so you can see here, summer in Willow Creek, Friday will be a heat wave. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I just love that freezer buddy. It's just so, so cute. Um, and then you can see here at the bottom, um, where we've got our phone, there is gonna be a calendar icon. Um, so that, that will bring up all of the calendar, um, you know, functions um, that we need. Um, and I did spot this one. Um, so this looks like um, we've got a snowstorm maybe and the kids are not at school, it's a snow day. I don't know. Uh, but that looks pretty interesting um, just there. So that's kind of what I found out um, just by you know looking through Twitter and, and picking apart some tweets. Um, so let's see, uh, let's talk about calendars. Uh, includes all upcoming holidays. Each one includes traditions to complete um, that make the uh, make process towards your Sims having an awesome time celebrating. Plus, predicted weather conditions can help your Sims plan ahead. You'll also see the schedule uh, of your Sims household while che uh, checking out the calendar, including when they go to work and to make even more planning possible. Sims birthdays will feature on the calendar. Pop open some nectar for the New Year's, uh, that is. So it looks like we've got some new nectar coming uh, because all this and more will be in one place. Now that's organized Sims game, yes. Uh, so Simmers start your ovens. When chilly weather rolls round, so do holidays. Harvest Fest is in the fall, when your sims gather their closest friends and family for the grand meal. So, as you, as you remember in the trailer, we saw that massive table full of food, uh, which was absolutely gorgeous. So, um, sims can decorate their home for the special day, uh, throw a turkey in the oven and cook up some um, delectable goodies for the whole brood. Looking for an extra guest to join the gathering? You may find yourself encountering a certain straw-filled friend uh, made especially for your garden. So oh, that's that's got to be the, the scarecrow then, right? Uh, when winter blows uh, into town, so does Winterfest. Customize homes with holiday pack and decoration uh, decoration box. Give, uh, give gifts, sip hot cocoa, and so much more. 
you won't want to miss a special visit from Father Winter. Uh, he'll be sure to brighten any Sims holiday spirit. So, I just want to um, talk about this particular image. Um, now, first off, the first thing that I noticed, which is unlike me, really, because there is something else in this photo that I have been dying for more of. So, I don't know whether you guys come to my Twitch streams or not, but I'm constantly, constantly going on about this particular item. But, the first thing that I noticed in this Im Im image, <laughs> image, image, was this hair. Now, this hair is just, oh, to die for. Absolutely beautiful. Very, 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 very well done. I don't know how many times I can say very, but it's very well done. Um, I love it. I can imagine a lot of CC content creators uh, getting their hands onto this and, you know, making some more colours and, oh, it's just beautiful. Um, I do see that there's a girl in the background that looks like there's a, that's a new hair. Um, there's definitely new clothes. I love uh, this jumper, this long jumper. This is kind of what I wear in the winter, you know, cover your bum, cover that tummy, and just stay warm. Um, so that is really, really cute. Um, you see the cards here um, and lots of new objects. Now, the object that should have stood out to me when I first saw this image was the curtains. Oh my God, I am so happy. That curtain is to die for. Finally, we have some beautiful curtains. They are, I, I just will be using them all the time, I think. They are just awesome. Um, now, if you do come to my live streams when I build, I'm constantly saying, please, Sims, bring some more curtains. We need some more curtains. And we've got a new curtain there, and I love it. I love it. I'm hoping that that comes in, um, you know, a variety of different colours, like some, you know, neutral colours and some, you know, vibrant colours. Um, because I love those curtains, they're absolutely phenomenal. Now, um, if you did see uh, one of my tweets regarding this weird hat thing, I don't know what it is. The gurus still haven't replied to me um, and telling me what it actually is, um, but I'm hoping that that will be revealed uh, very soon. Um, so this was uh, the picture that I did put on Twitter. Um, regarding these these weird hat things, I don't know. I don't know whether it's a hat, whether it's a cake, whether it's something that you celebrate. I don't know whether it's a creative thing. I don't know. What are your thoughts, guys? Uh, what do you think it is? Uh, we can see that we've got a new. new <coughs> excuse me. We've got a new wreath. Um, we've got some wall decorations. We've got like a harvest thing in the background there. Um, oh God, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There is so much in this uh, picture. Um, that gives us a little bit more information um, about what we're going to get in this expansion pack. Are they new windows? I'm pretty sure they're new windows too. They might not be, but they look new. I don't recognise them. But hey, so uh, let's carry on with the blog. So baby, it's cold outside. Um, it wouldn't be fall and winter without a flurry of chilli uh, chillier activities. So for the first time in The Sims 4, we're introducing ice skating's uh, tricks, spins and awkward falls await. Your Sims, were when you place the uh, skating rink, oh, so we actually place it? So it's not going to pop up like festivals in, C in City Living. Oh, okay. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. Plus, Sims can arm themselves with hats and gloves, uh, then head outside to make a snow pal and snow angels. Okay. So speaking of seasonal happenings, uh, are your Sims ready to fall in love? Adventurous Sims can ahem, uh, express their feelings for each other in a pile of leaves. Yeah, you'll probably want to leave them alone for a while. Sorry, not sorry for the puns. Oh my god, is that a new woohoo spot? Oh my god, can we woohoo in the leaves? <gasps> I'm so happy. Please, oh my god, can we woohoo in a pile of leaves? Express their feelings for each other in a leaf pile. Yeah, you'll probably want to leaf them alone for a while. Oh my god. Okay, 
That's cool. I love it. I love it. We have a new woohoo spot. That's awesome. Uh, as you may expect, uh, the not so fun parts of winter blow in too. For one thing, it's freezing and without the proper outfit, your sims will shiver and shake in their boots. Make sure to bundle up before heading outdoors for longer periods of time. If you don't, your sims will be so blue, literally the colder they get, the higher of risk, you guessed it, death. Whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop. Whoop whoop whoop. Um, so we can die from being too cold. Oh God. So there's gonna, I th is there gonna be quite a lot of deaths then? Because we've got the death by lightning. You can death by, uh, die by, death by. You can die by overheating and now you can die by cold. So that's three, three new deaths there. That's freaking awesome. Um, so we hope you're getting ready for some uh, chill time in the Sims 4 expansion pack releasing on June 22nd. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, so I cannot wait uh, for this expansion pack. I am so freaking excited. Um, I just, I just can't. I'm just so, so excited for this expansion pack. I think we've got something very, very special here coming. Um, I can't wait to learn a little bit more about calendars, um, on how they actually work, um, and things like that. But don't forget, guys, on the 15th of June at 11 a.m. PT, I think it is, uh, The Sims will be doing a live stream um, and showing us a little bit more about this expansion pack. So that's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, but that is it for this little update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.